All right, so Carson Wentz got his walking papers for the second season in a row. Good riddance to one of the biggest assholes in football. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss. Hit the subscribe, hit the notification uh, button, and also hit the like button if you're new. No uh, tears being shed by yours truly for Carson Wentz getting released. Um, they will save the commanders. The Washington Commanders made it official today. They'll save $26.2 uh, on the cap by getting rid of him. Good riddance. The guy is the biggest locker room cancer, baby, petulant child, just soft quarterback I've ever seen in my life totally uh railroaded doug peterson in philadelphia uh was was just a pathetic excuse of a quarterback in indianapolis down the stretch last season and you know in washington this year just didn't have it even from the very beginning of the season and his days hopefully as a starting quarterback are numbered could maybe catch on as a bridge quarterback but likely looking at backup duty from here on in and the guy has gotten uh, paid more money to do as little as possible in terms of production th uh, throughout his career you know he did get off to a decent start in Philadelphia was actually in the MVP running uh, before he tore up his knee and then of course Nick Foles leads the Eagles to the Super Bowl but now his career is done there so Sam Howell looks like at least for the time being is going to be the starting quarterback for the Washington Commanders. Now, it is very possible and very likely that the uh, commanders are going to draft a quarterback. Uh, and this is a deep, solid class of uh, quarterbacks this season. Not talking about one of the top four guys that everybody's, you know, Will Levis, uh, Richardson, you know, the, the those guys there, the C.J. Stroud. But, um, you know, they are going to be in the running for a, for a quarterback probably sometime on day two. Now, as far as Sam Howell, there's fantasy football intrigue here in that Howell has running ability, and he also was a good, accurate quarterback. You know, if he would have came out uh, not prior to last season, but the season before out of North Carolina, he would have had much, he would have gone much higher in the draft. You know, he had a big season with Javante Williams and Michael Carter at running back, and then everybody left. The offense, the offensive line, all the weapons, they all went to the NFL. Howell stayed behind, maybe made a bad choice and his numbers cratered you know he basically had to carry the offense and he struggled and that's why his draft um his slot dropped prior to last season but you know what he's got he can run and he can throw it we saw, saw last preseason that he really did a nice job there he opened some eyes uh he's got some daniel jones in him he's shorter than daniel jones he doesn't have the strong uh, strong of an arm but he's accurate in the short to intermediate range and he can run really well so there's a fantasy friendly profile here and we've talked non-stop about having the dual threat right quarterback for fantasy football um you know those those guys are few and far between there's not a lot there's only about six or seven guys that i would like under that scenario the more we can add to that the better and i think sam howell is worth a backup stab if he's going to be the start of week one in single quarterback leagues there is decent upside here now that being said i think that the commanders will still rely heavily on the run so terry mclaurin who we all love and we all know is a wide receiver one on 90 percent of the other teams out there he's just stuck in washington he signed that extension maybe he should have thought better of that. I know the money was a, was kind of an alluring thing for him, but is still stuck in a very bad spot, so it's hard to now still get excited about Terry McLaurin uh, even into next season. He's capable of being a wide receiver one, but for now, he's got to be graded as a wide receiver two and a low end at that. So again, let's keep track of this situation. Hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, more videos coming soon.